Dr. Robotnik's Mean Bean Machine is a falling block puzzle game developed by Compile and published by Sega. It was released for the Genesis, Mega Drive in North America and Europe in November 1993, and was ported to the Game Gear and Master System in December 1993 and June 1994, respectively. The plot revolves around Sonic the Hedgehog series antagonist Dr. Robotnik kidnapping residents from Beanville and turning them into robots, with the purpose of removing all joy from the planet Mobius. Dr. Robotnik's Mean Bean Machine is the westernized version of Puyo Puyo and replaces its characters with those from the Sonic the Hedgehog franchise, primarily the adventures of Sonic the Hedgehog animated series. The gameplay is reminiscent of Tetris, in which the player must organize different colored shapes as they fall down a board. The game received mostly positive reviews, with critics praising the gameplay but criticizing the difficulty. Topic. Plot The game is set on the planet Mobius, which is inhabited by bean-like creatures. Dr. Robotnik conceives of a plan to bring terror to the world by kidnapping the citizens of Beanville and turning them into robot slaves, and eventually creating an army that will help him rid the planet of fun and joy. To achieve this, he creates the Mean Bean Steaming Machine in order to transform the bean-like creatures into robots. Putting his plan into motion, Robotnik sends out his henchbots to gather all the bean-like creatures and group them together in dark dungeons so they can be sent to the mean bean steaming machine. The rest of the game's story revolves around the player character, Has Been, and their journey to stop Robotnik's henchmen by breaking into the dungeons and freeing the bean-like creatures. Topic. Gameplay Based on the original Puyo Puyo game released in Japan, Dr. Robotnik's Mean Bean Machine is a competitive puzzle game which follows the player as they attempt to rescue the people of Beanville from Dr. Robotnik and his army of badniks. Players can play in either scenario mode, in which a single player faces off against 13 increasingly challenging computer opponents, 1P versus 2P mode in which two players battle against each other, and exercise mode, in which a player can simply practice. On each player's grid, groups of beans fall from the top of the grid and can be moved and rotated in place until they reach the bottom. When four beans of the same color are matched together, they disappear from the grid, causing any beans on top to drop below. These beans can then automatically trigger other matches, resulting in chain combos of multiple matches in sequence. By successfully performing chain combos, players can send gray refugee beans to hinder their opponent. These beans cannot be matched normally and can only be removed by completing a match adjacent to them. A player loses when beans spill over the top of the board, leaving the player unable to add any more beans. The Game Gear and Master System versions feature an additional mode, Puzzle Mode, in which players must attempt to clear predetermined sets of beans. <laughs> Topic. Development and release Dr. Robotnik's Mean Bean Machine is a westernized version of Puyo Puyo, a Japanese falling block puzzle game developed by Compile and originally released for the MSX2 in 1991. Sega expressed interest in releasing the game for the United States and Europe, however, fearing that the product would not be popular with the Western audience, the company decided to replace the characters of Puyo Puyo with those featured in the Sonic the Hedgehog franchise, particularly those from the Adventures of Sonic the Hedgehog animated series, which aired in 1993. The game was released in November 1993 in both North America and Europe. An 8-bit version was released for the Game Gear in the same year and the Master System in the following year. Dr. Robotnik's Mean Bean Machine has also appeared in retrospective compilations, such as the Sonic Mega Collection for the Nintendo GameCube in 2002, Sonic Mega Collection Plus for the PlayStation 2 and Xbox in 2004, which also contains the Game Gear version, and Sonic's Ultimate Genesis Collection known as Sega Mega Drive Ultimate Collection in Europe for PlayStation 3 and Xbox. Xbox 360 in 2009. 
In 2006, Sega released the game on the Wii's Virtual Console. In 2010, it was released on Microsoft Windows via Steam. In June 2013, it was released for the Nintendo 3DS via its Virtual Console emulation service. The 2017 game Sonic Mania homages Mean Bean Machine via a boss battle, in which players must defeat Eggman, Robotnik in a match to advance. Players can also unlock a two player Mean Bean bonus minigame. Reception Dr. Robotnik's Mean Bean Machine received generally positive reviews. It holds an average score of 75% at Gamer Rankings, based on an aggregate of five reviews. Critics praised the various aspects of gameplay, although the difficulty and overuse of the puzzle genre were negative factors. Andy Dyer from Mega acknowledged that the game had a simple concept and also observed that it did not provide enough of a challenge. Lucas Thomas of IGN enjoyed the game's array of puzzles and recognized that its design was intended to encourage two-player competition. Reviewing the Mega Drive version, Damian McFerrin of Nintendolife similarly echoed Thomas's opinion of the game's intention to encourage two-player competition, and also noted that it provided a decent challenge despite opining that a single player could get bored easily. In contrast, Andrew Webster of Gamizabo criticized the high level of difficulty and the game's general accessibility due to its ancient password save system. Aaron Thomas of GameSpot found the game difficult to recommend due to the availability of free Puyo Puyo clones on the PC, but commended its basic mechanics, wide range of game modes, and gradually increasing difficulty. Eurogamer's Kristen Reed labeled the game as a fairly unapologetic reskin of Puyo Puyo and thought that Sega decided to shoehorn the Sonic the Hedgehog franchise in order to enhance their sales, although Reed admitted the gameplay was solid and addictive. A reviewer from JexVideo.com questioned the game's originality, saying that stacking beans to make them disappear is not a new concept but would still satisfy fans of the genre. Amanda Tipping from Computer and Video Games thought that the game was as addictive and as puzzling as the Tetris series, and also preferred the game's colorful visuals as opposed to Tetris. The Game Gear version was well received. In a retrospective review, Ron Delvelano from Nintendolife praised the game's wide variety of game modes but noted the soundtrack's lack of diversity. Delvelano also thought that the graphics had not aged well as of 2013, but accepted that games in the puzzle genre did not require prominent visuals. In a similar vein, a reviewer from Joypad opined that the game's graphics were not a joy to look at, but understood that it was normal for a game of that genre. Neil Ronahan of Nintendo World Report lauded the game's addictive and fun. Puzzle gameplay but admitted it contained flaws due to the limitations of the Game Gear. In 2019, the Master System port was reviewed by actor Vitas Varnas in the book Sega Master System, a visual compendium who stated that in comparison to the Genesis release it was still fun and challenging without any hindrance due to the system's limitations. <laughs>